Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Tessa's TV show. And today, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can kind of sort of get a. Hold on, I just forgot exactly what I was gonna say. A neon effect while using oil pastels. So I am using just the oil pastels I got for my school at the start of the school year. So first, you're going to take white. And let me just. Then you're gonna draw a circle, however big you want. Next, you're going to take a dark color of your choosing. For today's example, I will be using blue. And you're just gonna outline the white as much as you want. Then you take a light color for this example actually you can take a medium color as well i will be using red for the medium and you just outline the blue as you did in the previous step then you take a light color which i will be using yellow i don't know if you can see it you just outline the red Now, once you have done that, it's touching one of the other ones. You are going to... Hold on. Let me go get that. You're going to take a tissue, your finger, a Q-tip, a blending stump, whatever you use to blend. If you're using a tissue, which I will be using, you're going to fold it up. Yeah, just fold it. And you're going to use this edge right here. And I don't really have anything else to blend with other than my fingers, which I don't feel like getting messy today. But, um, uh, tissues are not my favorite way of blending. I say you don't get as clean as a blend, but it does blend. Or maybe I just suck at blending one or the other. But I'm blending. And I'm going to... So that was a previous one that I made. This is a previous one that I made. That came out decent. Here's the one that I just made. You can blend. Don't press too hard, but don't press too softly. You have to find a happy medium. Um, yeah. I just sold it back. Just like what? Um, yeah. If you guys want a better tutorial, um, yeah. Let me just do another one. Maybe. I'll do it in this corner. Make a small little circle. I'll use green this time as my dark color. Then I'll use. This goldish color I have as my medium color. Okay. And I'm going to use, whoa, if I can get this back in, my pink as my light color. I'm just going to trace around each of the previous colors to do something like that. And then I'm going to take an edge of my tissue. And blend. And voila. Decent considering I haven't done this in a while. Yeah, I was going through some stuff earlier and I figured, hey, I remember doing that. What's, what's the package? Give me the package just now. Maybe I could try to explain it. I can do a bit of a better in-depth video if you guys want some other day. Come on. I'm sorry, I'm struggling to get this back in the package. What in the actual heck? Oh, it wasn't all the way in. Oops, there we go. Okay. 
But yeah, if you guys want to see more of these videos, here's another one that I did. If you guys can kind of see it. Yeah, I've made a couple of these. And I say that the circle is just easy to practice with. You can write things. Actually, when I was first learning how to do this, I did neon and writing. I don't know if you guys could see that or not. And it came out iffy because it was the first time I ever did it. But yeah, saying doing a bunch of just circles like this is easy. But I'm also using like the oil pastels that my school gives you when they send you an art kit. So yeah, it's like one of the cheapest ones you can get, I'm assuming. But yeah, if you guys want to try this, make sure you, I mean, wait, you don't have to make sure anything. Make sure to be patient, though. I've learned my lesson. I can get impatient when it comes to things. So bye.